Now, etiquette. What are the do's and don'ts? It's even more tricky now in 2014 with all the social media. Now, William Hansen, who I think has very blue blood, is an expert in all this. You would have this concept of chivalry. Now, chivalry used to be sort of knights of the realm, the, the knights of chivalry treating damsels in distress or otherwise nicely. And actually, chivalry today extends to anybody. Women can be chivalrous towards men. Women can be chivalrous towards women. Men can be chivalrous to, to men. Traditionally, it's obviously if, if a man and a woman were going out on a date, the man should still pull out the chair for the lady. If he knows the lady is really going to balk at this and not, not like it, then don't do it. But if it's someone you know, who he doesn't know whether they like it or not, then do it the first time. And similarly, the women shouldn't bite their hand off for, for doing it. It was just a nice gesture. They're not patronising the woman. It is just a, a, gen, a nice thing, such as holding open a door. It's not because they're the weaker sex. It's because they are a human being. With social media, with smartphones, with texting, and all these different things that we're trying to cope with at the moment, you've sort of gone through the etiquette of face-to-face, but what about the etiquette of, you know, texting, emailing? Where, where, do, where are we on that? Texting and emailing is, is very interesting because we've, we've obviously it's come in relatively recently, and I think still as a society we are finding our feet. We just need to apply basic common sense, and then we will be fine. If you are going out to someone's house for dinner, don't take your mobile phone out at the dinner table. Put it in your pocket, turn it to silent, and respect the host who might have spent all day cooking up a lovely meal for you. Similarly, if you're going out on a date or you're going out with a friend to a restaurant, don't sit there on your mobile phone. Focus on the humans, not the gadgets. The humans are much more important than these sort of devices. And I think why people do focus on on their tablets or phones or laptops too much rather than people is because these social skills, which 50 years ago were part and parcel of everyday life, are not being taught anymore and they are insecure and so they are hiding behind their devices. When you're texting or emailing people, what's your advice on that? If you're going to send someone an email, an email is an electronic letter. So if you are emailing someone you do not know, you follow the conventions that a letter has. So you would start with dear sir or dear madam if you didn't know their name, and that would end with yours faithfully. If you did know their name, you would start with dear Mr. Smith and then end with yours sincerely. You still follow those conventions. When it's someone you know, you can have it obviously becomes quite informal and you can have a back and forth. But it does annoy me, people that email me with, hey, William, when they've absolutely no idea who I am or they've never met me, they are being too informal. And it is true, familiarity breeds contempt. And texting? Texting, if you're going to do it, obviously you need to make sure everything is spelt perfectly because people judge you by your, your text. And again, if you're sending a text to someone that you don't necessarily know particularly well and it's full of typos or abbreviations or silly little smiley faces, then they are going to form an opinion about you. And if it is a, a juvenile opinion that you want to cultivate, that's absolutely fine. But just think about how you are perceived. And if only people thought about, well, maybe what I put on today or what I don't put on today or how I'm coming across on the telephone or by text. What is that other person going to think of me? Have some self-respect and, and hopefully you will go further. OK. And um, just finally, just one, one, one final question for you, for you William. Um, if you had to pick one sort of nugget of advice you could give, good advice you can give people. Whatever you do, don't call it a toilet because it's a lavatory. Toilet's an awful word. Toilet was actually the, your makeup and your wig back in the, in the sort of the days of the French and English courts that you did. The actual thing is a lavatory, and that's what you're going to, unless you're going to powder your wig, of course, in which you can go and say, I'm going to the toilet. Well, I normally call it a carsey. <laughs> I hope you didn't tell him that. <laughs> I've just sent him a text, uh, smiley face, saying, cheers, mate, for the interview. He's going to love that. He's gonna... <laughs> Listen, to be honest, I felt that he was pretty scary. Although some of the stuff that he says, I do actually find correct, like opening the door is definitely something if a guy doesn't open the door if he's walking to the door and I'm there and he doesn't let me go through first and hold it open I just think to myself you know what a commoner really absolutely and also the thing the thing about the toilet I know it's hysterical but I never call it a toilet I always say excuse me where's the bathroom the dating show brought to you by alderdatingonline.com